And Jack Posobiec speaks of a democratic coup against Joe Biden and his administration. He's not just making a casual remark. I, I had talked before, by the way, about the shade war. I reported this for years on Human Events Daily. And, and folks and, and the Real America's Voice audience knows that we've been talking about this, how Kamala Harris was attempting to set herself up as the heir apparent and how you called it Team B and Team K. And it was Team K that was always blocked out by Team B. And, and Blake was just referencing all of those members. Jen Psaki was a huge part of that. Now she's over at MSNBC. Uh, Ron Klain, uh, Steve Reschetti, all of these guys who went around and they've been, uh, Tony Blinken, they've been with Biden for a really long time time and now all of a sudden the bloom is completely off the rose and i'm just going to say it everyone can see now that the emperor has no clothes you are going to see a democrat we are watching a democrat coup against joe biden and his entire administration it's internal conflicts within the opposing party are often seen as glaring signs of weakness or confusion by referring to coups and internal disputes within the democratic party jack posobiec amplifies conservative narratives that depict their political rivals as chaotic and unstable. The term coup taps into deep-seated conservative doubts about the integrity of the political elite and their behind-the-scenes maneuvering. To the public, this can seem like undeniable proof of the self-serving nature of political insiders who prioritize power over principles. Posobiec's assertions bolster the conservative viewpoint that democratic leadership is unreliable and deceptive. By framing it as a coup, it suggests that the Democratic Party is so power-hungry that it's willing to betray its own leader for political advantage.